Hey, what is going on you guys? It's the Talking Sasquatch and today I'm here with Lab 401 to teach you how to make animations on your Flipper Zero. I'll walk you through each step from converting, compiling, and installing any animation you want on your Flipper Zero. So of course, the first step in creating an animation is creating a series of frames. Here's an example that I made in Photoshop. However, you can use any number of free tools to get this result. So the trick here is to create a series of images that are as close to black and white as possible. This is going to make sure that when it goes through the compiler, it's going to look as close as possible to the source image. This is very important. Another really important thing is to make sure that your animation is 128 by 64 pixels exactly. This is the size of the flipper screen, so if we match that exactly, it's going to show as close as possible to our original source images. Another really important thing is to make sure that your images are named frame underscore zero dot png frame underscore one dot png and so far. This is the only way that the Flipper compiler will actually view the images and convert them properly. So now that we have a series of images, we need to create and edit a text file called meta.txt. Right here is one I've started. If we open it, you can see a number of parameters. So starting off with width and height, we talked about that a second ago, 128 by 64 pixels. The number of frames, so you have passive frames and active frames. Now for our beginner video, we're only gonna talk about passive frames. So we're gonna skip any reference to active frames between active frames, active cycles, and the active cooldown. Those will all be set at zero. So we have our passive frames, which is just a number of frames that we have. Well, notice down here that we had started at frame zero.png. So that has to be reflected here. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, takes us to our final number of frames. So as we said before, we're not gonna worry about the active cycles or active cooldown. So we'll just talk about frame rate and duration. So the frame rate is just how quickly it's going to show on the screen, how fast the images will play. The faster the number, the faster it plays, the slower the number, the slower it plays. However, one thing to keep in mind is that there is a refresh rate for the LCD. If you run it as fast as 10 or so, the frames aren't gonna show up correctly on the screen, it's gonna be kind of blurry. Um, so then we have our duration. Basically, the longer the duration, the longer the animation is gonna play play in a loop on the screen. All right, from here, all we have to do is clone the repository for the Flipper firmware. Very easy to do. All we need to do is open up the GitHub for the Flipper firmware. Code, we're gonna copy the HTTPS link for that there. Close this window. Then we're gonna grab our GitHub program, file, clone repository, paste that link there, and click clone. It should just take a few seconds depending upon your internet connection. It's as simple as that. So now we're done with this. We can simply close this program for now. So now that we have our cloned repository, all we needed to do is open up the location of that cloned repository. And we're going to go into Assets, Dolphin, and External. In this folder, you can see all of the default animations for your flipper. What we're going to do is we're just going to take our animation. We're going to drag and drop it right into there. Then we can close this. And then all we have to do is add it to the manifest. This is what our manifest looks like, and it shows all the names of the animations and a bunch of different variables that Flipper uses to decide what and when animations are going to be shown. For the sake of what we're doing, I only want my one animation that I made. We're going to delete all the others and name this Lab 401. Here you'll see all of the virtual pet options here. Butthurt is how happy or sad your flipper is depending upon how much you use it. And then your minimum and maximum level is the same thing. The more you use it, the higher level you'll be. Then we also have a weight variable. The weight really says how often it's going to play in relationship to other animations. Animations with a higher weight will play more often than ones with a lower weight. Now that our manifest looks the way we want it, we can save it and then close. All we have to do from now is run the compiler and see our results. We're going to drop into the main folder for our Flipper Zero firmware. We're going to copy the location and we're going to open up Microsoft PowerShell. I personally like PowerShell because I'm a Windows user and I find it really easy to work with and it's pretty intuitive. We're going to set location to our Flipper Zero and then we're going to use this code in order to compile our animation. and it's just gonna go through and do its thing. It takes a couple seconds. Assuming there's no errors in your meta or your manifest, this should run no problem. 
All right, that was a success. So we can close this, and now we're just gonna open our new animation file. This file is gonna be located into Assets, Resources, Dolphin, and there we are, Lab 401. It shows all of our new frames that are converted into BM, which is the frames that our flipper can actually use. But we'll go back into here. We have our Lab 401 folder and our manifest. So what we can do from here is actually go directly into QFlipper and drag and drop them into our flipper. Now we're just gonna open up QFlipper, as you can see, I already have a custom animation running on mine, but we're going to go to SD card, Dolphin, and then we're just going to drag and drop both the Lab 401 folder and the manifest over here. And then we can go back to our screen, and then we're just simply going to restart it holding back and the left button. And there we have it. We can see our finished Lab 401 Digital Rain logo. So for a quick recap, we went through, created the frames to make our animation. We took those frames, renamed them and resized them to fit the flipper. We cloned the repository for flippers firmware. We compiled the frames to make the animation. Then we dragged them over to the animation folder. And here we go. Looks like a great animation to me. Now that you've learned the basics of creating your own personalized animation for Flipper Zero, I'm looking forward to see all of the cool creations that you guys have to offer. Keep an eye out for me and all of the Flipper related discords. If you have any questions or issues, let me know. I'll see if I can help you out with it. And thanks again, Lab 401, for the opportunity to show you guys how to make something really cool with your Flipper Zero. Make sure to check out Lab 401 for all the cool things they have to offer, and be sure to use code Sasquatch. Thank you for watching this video, and if you found it useful, please like and share it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to get notified when new videos are released. And of course, visit lab41.com to check out our curated collection of pentesting tools. Stay safe, and see you next time.